Yo, do you wanna know how to edit and build like this? With almost no input delay, then make sure you stick around for this video because I got you guys with tips and settings. So let's go right into it. Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to reduce your input delay and lag on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PS4, PS5. It literally doesn't matter. I'm going to be going through everything in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. But before the video starts, shout out to the person on the screen right now. If you want to shout out in the next video, whoever comments zero input delay the most in the comments gets a shout out in the next video. Make sure you use code ZENTRIN for an item shop. This motivates me to make more content for you guys and it literally doesn't take more than 10 seconds to type in that item shop but yeah i appreciate everybody using my code and yeah with all that being said let's get right into it all right so i'm gonna start off with giving you guys some tips that you can do in fortnite and after that i'm hopping to some tips you can do outside of fortnite to make sure you get less input delay all right so first of all what you want to do you want to go into matchmaking region and you want to have this on wherever you're from as it will help you out with input delay and lag and the next step i want you to do is i want you to go down to confirm edit on release and this is the reason why i edit so fast i've confirmed edit on release on on just a lot of benefits to why you should have this on on so yeah make sure you have confirm edit on release on all right so for the next tip make sure you have your health scale on around 70 to 60 i feel like this health scale is just perfect because fortnite automatically puts your health scale on 100 so you want to make sure you have this on at least 70 all right after that i want you to go to subtitles and you want to have subtitles on on off i've heard this reduces input delay and i've been having it on for a very long time because everybody says this reduces input delay so if you need to copy this go ahead and do it and if you're on non-claw this works best for non-claw but there's also some things that does not matter if you play on claw or not so fortnite automatically puts edit on a and it's like switch mode slash edit so you have to hold in your edit to edit and you have to confirm on a2 i think so so if you play on non-claw i got the best edit binds for you guys right here all right so you want to have your left stick on edit want to have your right stick on jump too because if you play non-claw whenever you're jumping it's automatically on b so whenever you're jumping you have to take your finger off your right stick also when editing because fortnite automatically puts editing on switch mode slash edit this just slows you down in all aspects so i got you guys right now copy these right stick to jump and be on crouch and left stick to edit and you want to go over here and put on confirm on r and reset on l so just imagine that edit on left stick select on zr and confirm on r and reset on l you don't touch your buttons which slows you down and makes you edit a lot slower so yeah. All right, so that was the steps for your settings. Now I have some tips outside of your settings in Fortnite. So for the first tip is I want you to get a monitor with low MS. So me personally, I have a, I have a monitor with one MS response time. So basically what this means is it takes one millisecond for my monitor to respond to what I'm doing on my Switch. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, if you have a monitor or a TV with like four MS or something over. So yeah, if you have a monitor or a TV with four or ms or something that's a little higher that could be the reason to why you have input delay and the reason to why you have lag and yeah so yeah i would consider you get a monitor with one ms if you want to have less input delay since this really helps out all right so the next thing is how close your router is from your switch so if your router is a little close from your switch let's say in another room or just far away try and see if you can get it as close as possible to you since this will help out and if you have the chance to get one wired connection definitely go for that if you're trying to get wired connection on your nintendo switch you want to make sure you get a ethernet adapter and an ethernet cable since that's what you have to do on nintendo switch to get wired connection all right so me personally i get like 20 ping 15 in creative which is really good on nintendo switch yo guys i forgot to put this in a video but let me actually see how much ping i get so let me just look well, let me look up in the sky let's see how much i get 14 9 7 18 12 9, 10, 15. All right, so you get the point, guys. I get, like, in creative, I can get down to 7 ping, and I don't have wired connection, so this is why I should take my tips. 20 ping on Nintendo Switch is, like, 10 ping or even lower on PC, because Nintendo Switch runs 30 FPS, and the lower FPS you have, the higher your ping will get, which is sad, but this is why I'm making this video, to make sure you can get your lowest ping and input delay as possible. My router is also in my room, but it's on the other side of the room, pretty far, to be honest, but this doesn't really matter, because 
because I have a good upload and download speed. This is what I want to get into next. So if you have a bad upload and download speed, mine used to be like five upload and 10 download speed. But what I did is I got better service and I got a better internet connection and router. But yeah, if you have under 50 upload and download speed, I would definitely recommend that you look for another internet service or connection or try and get wired connection to your switch but yeah guys that was the tips all right so i really hope that these tips help you guys out like i said be sure to use code zen for an item shop this really takes five seconds to type in and it supports the channel a lot and i really appreciate everybody using my code in the item shop and yeah guys like i said could we get 1000 likes on this video if you could it would be very appreciated and with all that being said i'm leaving you guys off with some gameplay see you guys peace out